I'm, I'm Robert Gooch. I'm director of the Wild Meat Company and co-owner uh, with my partner Paul. We started the business in 1999. We tried to get game available to everyone, anyone who wants to, to, to have it. For me, it all started when I was very young. As a teenager, I started to shoot a few rabbits or pigeons and trying to work out what to do with them next. And I was fascinated by wanting to eat them. And though I'm not a great cook, I wasn't also a very good butcher either, which is when Paul came in, who uh, worked all his life as a master butcher. And we've got what I hope is quite a good partnership because game specifically needs very good butchery to make it a nice product. A lot of our customers come to us because they don't want to eat meat that's been through a slaughterhouse because of their concerns that that animal has gone through quite a lot of uh, fear and uh, terror in that process. Whereas a, an animal which is cleanly shot, it's been in its natural environment and doesn't know what's happened. What I get very excited about is knowing that we've got this fantastic countryside, fantastic amount of animals in there and birds in there. Now the super abundant ones, for example, game, rabbits, pigeons and deer, for example, the populations have to be controlled for, for, for management of the countryside, particularly farming. I want everyone to understand that this is a great resource for, for food consumption. It's a great calorific resource there, sitting beyond your garden, which is not, is not harvested and is not made use of. So what we want to do is instead of farming more and more meat that comes from, from, from farms and goes through abattoirs, why not also use what's around us, which is super abundant? All our game comes from the area in which we're based and we're very lucky because coastal Suffolk has got a huge variety of different habitats from the marshes close to the coast right to uh, the woodland and forestry which fringes the, the coast uh, and arable land and lands. We source our game from all these habitats from farms in the state to uh, prepare for people to eat. During the game season which is generally between sort of October and January uh, our refrigerated van will go to a farm and estate uh, which has had a shoot. We'll go the next, next morning or that night to pick it up, bring it back to our butchery uh, where it's then hung. We will then, uh, after hanging, start the process of skinning and plucking and then butchering the, the meat so that's ready for the table. The game is unique for a butcher in that he or she will be working on many different species. So uh, one of our butchers will in one day be perhaps dealing with six or seven different species, all of which might have four or five different cuts per species. So for example, a deer um, will have 16 different products coming from out of that deer, from sausages and burgers to mince to steaks to joints to the offal and so on. So a huge variety. Now you multiply that, there are five different deer and um, same with rabbits and hares that we have different species with different cuts. So uh, it is uh, quite technical butchery. We have an inspection twice a week by the Food Standards Agency Vets because we are an EU licensed cutting plant. But on top of that, we have uh, an inspection from an accreditation scheme called SALSA and as part of that audit, uh, we have to send in information on our, our water quality and all the other things that they require. I tend to t think about flavour and game rather like curries. You have the starter, <laughs> the uh, korma at the lower level, and then move up to the madras at the top. And uh, with game, woodcock and hares would be, if you like, the madras are really strong flavours. Uh, whereas perhaps a pheasant, partridge and, and rabbit would be the korma level. And so we would encourage you know, our, our, our customers to, to work their way up if they're not used to game. Venison sirloin steaks, rapeseed oil, some butter and I'm going to add seasoning to the top of the steak. And now I'm going to think about just adding some red currant, the butter and hill farm oil. Pour that on top of the steaks. Two fantastic venison loin steaks. Lovely. Our meat is, is marketed many ways. We do export some. We do sell to local retail outlets in East Anglia. We do sell to restaurants and pubs. 
and our local butchers uh, who all do a fantastic job. What we're trying increasingly to do is let consumers all over the country have access through our website www.wildmeat.co.uk um, so that they can get game whenever they want. We'll package the meat, put it into a uh, reusable cardboard box with wool liner as our insulation. And there we go. 